Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, for today's lecture, we are going to cover about the polyamide. So, polyamide is 3.6. Look at the lesson outcomes first. So, upon the completion of this chapter, students should be able to state the various types of aliphatic and aromatic polyamide. So, we have two types of polyamide, which are aliphatic and aromatic. You also need to write the chemical structure of both aliphatic and aromatic. Explain the structural variables that considerably affect the properties of aliphatic polyamide. Write the chemical reaction of producing nylon C6. You need to draw the diagram of producing a nylon C6 in the lab. State various the application of aliphatic and aromatic polyamide. Describe the properties of various types of polyamide and compare the structure of Kevlar and Nomex. Okay, polyamide is a substance composed of a long multiple unit molecule in which the repeating units in the molecular chain are linked together by the amide group. As you can see that the amide group, it has the general chemical formula of CO and H and they may be produced by the interaction of amine, okay, amine and H2 and a carboxyl group which is COOH and uh, they may be formed by the polymerization of the amino acid or amino acid derivative. So they have some classification which are aliphatic, semi-aromatic and aromatic. For aliphatic, for example, is nylon um, C6 and uh, semi-aromatic is polyamide 60. For aromatic, we have Kevlar and Nomad. Okay, nylon ni biasanya uh, referred, uh, polyamide is referred to nylon lah, and often, often form into fibers and are used for monofilament and yarns. So, digunakan untuk buat benang. And pada tahun 1930s, uh, ianya diperkenalkan oleh DuPont was conducting early extensive research efforts in polyester and polyamide. And then it was introduced to make a stocking and para parachutes. Okay, a nylon parachute ni uh, US manufacturer, they just stop produce nylon stocking. So that nylon could be used for um, <coughs> parachute for airborne troops. Okay, kalau kita tengok, mostly the US Army uh, memang dia guna parachute okay, during their uh, world war and the parachute tu dia place um, apa, dia pakai dekat uh, badan dia kan, dia ikat dekat belakang and then dia place dekat depan and um, before World War II, parachute were made of Japanese silk when Japan cut off silk supplies during the war DuPont persuaded the army to try nylon as a substitute. Here, an employee at a parachute factory is shown just after landing with a nylon parachute. Okay, polyamide occur both naturally and artificially. Example of naturally occurring polyamide are proteins such as wool and soap. And for um, artificially made polyamide can be made through the step growth polymerization or the solid phase synthesis and uh, it will yield a material such as nylon, aromides and sodium polyaspartate. So synthetic polyamide are commonly used in textile, automotive, industry, carpets, kitchen, utensils and sportswear due to their high durability and strength. So now we look at the aliphatic polyamide first. Kalau kita tengok, the number of the carbon atom between the amide linkage are control the properties of the polymer. And for information, nylon 6 and nylon 6 is uh, the, the two most common for textile and plastic industries. So for nylon 6 kita tengok is 
uh, made of two monomer, each containing six carbon atom. And uh, hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid, which given nylon 66 its name. Okay, uh, for naming or nomenclature, when only one monomer is used, for example, in nylon 6 or nylon 12, it involves uh, with only one number. Okay, kalau it used two monomer, such as in nylon 6, 6 nylon 12, 6, uh, 1, 1, 2. So the first nylon 6, 6 here is referring to the um, hexamethylene diamine. Okay, and the second number 6 here refers to the number of carbon atom in the diacid, for example, at the PSC in nylon 66. Okay. So, during the polymerization of polyamide, there are four main methods. First, reaction of diamine with dicarboxylic acid. Second one, Subcondensation of the appropriate amino acid. One is by the ring opening of a lactam, and the fourth one is the reaction of diisocyanate with dicarboxylic acid. Okay, onto the structure and the properties of nylon. They have two main important properties. Okay, nylon, uh, it has the amide group CONH, which are considered as a very polar very polar group and the second one um, it has a flexible flexibility high flexibility okay bila um, mi ini sangat polar it can hydrogen bond with each other and uh, this will give good mechanical properties and improve the bondable bondability of the material okay in terms of the flexibility it will give nylon uh, low melt viscosity for ease of processing. And this structure also yield polymer that are tough above their TG. So this is the um, structure of nylon 66 containing the carbonyl, carbonyl oxygen and amide hydrogen which can hydrogen bond each other. Okay, the principle of the polarity in nylon means that the greater the electronegativity difference between atom in a bond, the more polar the bond. Okay, kalau kita tengok the um, dia punya disadvantages of nylon ni sebab dia water absorption. Okay, water absorb result in uh, lower mechanical properties. So, kalau kita tengok nylon 612, dia adalah specially formulated to resist moisture absorption. And the combination of carbon and hydrogen dalam structure tu, dalam structure ataupun hydrocarbon of a molecule with a functional group is always be non-polar. Polar group ni, any chemical grouping in which the distribution of electron is uneven, enabling it to take part in electrostatic interaction. So, the presence of moisture must be considered in any nylon application. Why? Because moisture can cause changes in part dimension and reduce the properties, particularly at elevated temperature. So as a result, the material should be dried before any processing operation. Okay, so um, nylon itself memang secara generally, according to the structure, it has a polar group in um, adipic acid. Okay, it is derived from the adipic acid. So, um, so, what is the priority of nylon itself? So, nylon is non-polar and it is um, loosely attached and free to rotate but the polar point in the nylon chain are tightly bonded to the group in a neighboring segment. So, secara generalnya dia adalah um, non-polar lah. Tapi kalau tengok structure tu dia polar. Sebab ada adipic acid, depend on the adipic acid. So, a few numbers of structural variable affect the properties of aliphatic polyamide. First, distance between the repeating CO and H group. The number of methylene group 
and substitution and the degree of the cross lining. Now we look at the distance between the repeating CO and H group. So the higher the amide group concentration, the shorter the distance between the CO and H group. And will the higher the density forces required to mechanically separate the polymer molecule and hence the higher the tensile strength, rigidity, hardness and resistance to creep. So uh, melting temperature and the heat deflection temperature also high resistance to hydrocarbon and also increase in the higher water absorption. So when the less number of carbon atom, it will increase uh, the tensile strength and also the stiffness of the um, polyamide. For example, nylon 6, uh, it will absorb more moisture compared to nylon 12. Okay, nylon 12 is one of the um, polyamide structure that have good uh, water, water propaganda water barrier okay so makin makin sikit carbon atom makin tinggi dia punya water absorption and makin tinggi dia punya tensile strength the second one the number of methylene group in the intermediate nylon type with an even number of carbon atom between the amide group have higher melting point than those with an odd number of carbon atom for example the melting point of nylon 66 with an even number is greater than that of their nylon 56 or nylon 76. This is due to the ability of the nylon with the even number of carbon atom to pack better in the crystalline state. Okay, because of the nylon itself is very crystalline or uh, semi-crystalline polymer. Okay, the other factor that uh, might affect the structure of the uh, properties of the aliphatic polyamide is the replacement of a hydrogen atom in the main CO and H group by uh, CH3 or CHO, CH3. Okay, kalau tengok dia punya structure yang asal adalah dia ada NH kat sini. So, this NH group uh, if uh, we replace with CH3 or CH2 or CH3, it can cause a reduction in a softening point. So, the softening point to the temperature at which a material soften. Lah. So, that can affect the temperature at which it soft. Okay, and the last one is the degree of the crystallinity. Nylon is considered as a semi crystalline. And, um, it can affect by the degree of crystallinity, which can be controlled by the processing condition. So, a uh, slowly cool part will have a significantly greater crystallinity, which is about 60% than a rapid cooling. And the degree of crystallinity will also affect the moisture absorption. Less crystalline polyamide being more prone to moisture pickup. The general properties of polyamide are very resistant to wear and abrasion, have good mechanical properties even at elevated temperature, have low permeability to gases and good chemical resistance, have water absorption, higher water absorption, electrical insulation, good at room temperature in dry condition. And so, um, electric polyamide are produced on a larger scale compared to the aromatic polyamide and are the most important class of engineering thermoplastic. Um, application of the aliphatic polyamide for example, nylon 66 used in a uh, carpets, horse and belt reinforcement, tire cord, as an uh, engineering resin in applications such as gears, bearing rollers, and door latches. 
It also have a good abrasion resistant and self lubricating um, tendencies, high tenacity and elasticity, and also water resistant. For nylon one one and uh, nylon four six, uh, have been uh, used in packaging film, nylon bearing, and um, automotive product. Okay, this is some uh, other application, lymphatic polyamide. Okay, now we proceed with the aromatic polyamide. Okay, the aromatic polyamide, called as aromide, have um, higher strength compared to the nylon or aromatic amide but are more expensive and more difficult to produce. So aromite is prepared when aromatic group are present along the backbone and this will impact the stiffness, the um, heat resistance and also uh, dimensional stability. And one difficulty encountered in this class of material is their tendency to decompose before melting. And however, Certain aromatic polyamide have gained commercial importance. Okay, we have three types of aromatic polyamide, which are the first one is the amyl first copolymer with a high Tg, for example, trigomite T, hosomite, guillemite TR55. Second one is the crystalline polymer that can be used as a thermoplastic, for example, um, polyamphenylene iso. And um, the third one is the crystalline polymer used as fiber, um, also known as a Kevlar. Okay, sorry. And number two, we call it polyamxylene adiphemite. Kalau yang Kevlar, and Nomex kalau Kevlar, nama lain dia poly polypyphenylene terephthalamide. And also a uh, Nomex. This is the uh, general properties of the aromite. Aromite is considered as a tough material and compete with polycarbonate, AMMA, and polysulfate. It has a high strength, high heat reflection, flame retardant, good uh, resistant to abrasion, and so on. Okay, we look at the properties of the Kevlar first. Okay, we look at the Kevlar first. Okay, Kevlar, the other name is polyphenylene terephthalamide, and it is synthesized in solution from the monomer 1,4-phenylene diamine and terephthalide chloride in a condensation reaction with the uh, formation of the HCl as a byproduct. So Kevlar is similar in structure to nylon 66. If uh, we, uh, um, as we all know that nylon 66 composes of a hexamethylene diamine and byproduct, except that instead of the amide link joining chain of the carbon atom together, the Kevlar structure joining the benzene ring. So, uh, the properties of the Kevlar is a very strong material which very high strength about 3620 megapascal lightweight highly heat resistant and good flame resistant so um, it is used mainly in bulletproof vests in composite for boat construction and for the lightweight skis and rackets <clears throat> okay, why Kevlar has extremely high strength? So the polymer owes its high strength to the uh, many interchain bond. And this intermolecular hydrogen bond formed between the carbonic group and the NH center. Additional strength is derived from the aromatic staking interaction between the adjacent strand. And it have a greater influence on the when the wall attraction of the chain length between the NH and um, when the wall structure, when the wall attraction. 
This is uh, some application of the Kevlar. Okay. okay. Now we look at the Nomex. Okay, Nomex nama lain dia adalah polyamphenylene isophalamide. So Nomex is the trade name of meta aramide fiber. And it is uh, produced by the DuPont company include the zigzag shape. Okay. So the polymer is spun into a fiber. Nomex is also made into sheets of paper and then formed into honeycomb shape. Okay, the main strength of Nomex is um, heat. It's heat resistant. So, kalau dekat uh, kalau Kevlar dia punya kelebihan dia high high um, strength kan. Kalau Nomex very good heat resistant. And this is the application of Nomex. Okay, this is the last slide um, showing the comparison between the Kevlar and Nomex. If you look at the structure of the Nomex and Kevlar, uh, the position of the aromatic ring for Kevlar is on the 1 4 position and called as a heralding key for Nomex. The benzene ring is um, attached at 1 3 position. It's Metal linkage. That's why there is a different properties between Kevlar and Nomex. So that's all for this chapter. Thank you.